are joining me in my Porsche GT3 RS. Sorry, my hair looks a little bit greasy today. Um, just put some wax in it. Well, we're just about to start up. GT, did I say GT2 RS? GT3 RS. I wish I had a GT2 RS. We're going to start this up because we're taking this out. Oh, bit of classic FM. Exhaust button on. Can't start. This car makes me smile. <laughs> So good. I'm going to actually talk to you about this car, what's going to be happening with it. It's all pristine, but we're going to move it to a location. And then there's a certain YouTuber which is going to be joining me in this video as well. Ah, oh, and here he is. I'm joined today by Mr. Paul Wallace. Welcome. I am. Oh, here we are. We're ready. How's He's come down to film a video on his channel as well. But we are joined by... No, no, we're not doing any of that. No? No? No, 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 we're not doing any of that. We're, we're behaving on this channel. Okay. We're in my GT3 RS. First time you've seen it. This is the first time that I've seen it. What do you reckon? Mailed it to me in glorious fashion. But yeah, glorious fashion. I pulled the cover off, and you were like, "Wow." Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. What do you reckon? It's so cool. You reckon? Ultra because you are Mr. S you are supercars of London. You are. You've seen every supercar under the sun. This is a supercar in London, which is one. Is that a supercar? Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's Put what I want. Standard 911. No. Okay. But this one but is. This. Right, we just got moved, so the truck came or something, so we'll, uh, we'll carry on, we'll carry on from where we were. Right, moving on from our chat, it's to Paul Wallace. This is a supercar. Yeah. Box standard 911, I'd say, isn't Yeah. It's more of a sports car, right? Yeah. Then the GT3 is a super sports car. Do you want to lean on that anymore, or are you alright? This, this is made for downforce. Okay, fine. No worries, just checking. But the RS is a supercar. Yeah, the RS. I mean, the way these cars drive, everything else. Do you know one thing, which uh, you might be surprised about as well, but how they sit from factory? Yes, Porsche always have good tyre gaps. You can't get much in there. Do it you know is who don't? Lambo. And Ferrari. Lambo, my hurricane looked like it was a full... I remember full seeing the Performante Spider at the Geneva Motor Show thinking that it had the nose lift up. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> have you also noticed this? Titanium tips, they are now going blue. That means they're getting warmed up. That means they're getting warmed up. And we're going to be talking all things modifications because you are the man who likes to encourage modifications if they're going to happen. And this does not include a colour change for people are going to, because you can't change ultraviolet, can you? No. It's probably the only colour that you shouldn't change on a GT3 RS. Yep. I think this is the best colour. Second best is gloss black which you then just sat in PPF, because satin black is the only other colour that looks good on this. Like uh, our friend in Monaco with his satin black GT2 RS. Yeah. Should I replace the number plate holder for something different? Um, yes. You would, didn't you? The something different would be the no front plate option. <laughs> <laughs> and that is also illegal. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you live in London, so you can't get away with that. You but can't. It's chunky, isn't it? The one it is. Nervous of though, if you do remove this, is whether they've drilled into the front bumper. I know. Because Porsche are good at that. I know. So that is one thing which is actually. Because if you take that off, it's like you might see holes in your front bumper. No, that that means you have to respray it. Yeah, we have to fill it in first. And then respray it. And then respray it. So it might be a bad option, but yeah. it does look a lot better without a front plate. Uh, but then living in London, we're going to get into trouble, aren't we? I've never been in a GT3 RS, you know. You are ever. You are joking. I'm not joking. Really? Never. No, you're joking. I'm, oh no, sorry, I've been in Tony's. <laughs> I, I, I have, I have. But only... so have you been in the Gen 1? No. And well, I was only in Tony's welcome. for a minute. Okay, so you are going to fully experience I'm a, it. I'm today. a GT3 RS virgin. You're, you're going to experience it. Do, do you know one thing? That that is a rubber, the splitter? This. To be replaced for track days. Yeah. So if you want to track it, you can. You can. Mate, honestly, they are they are absolutely unreal. The road presence is like nuts. It is. It is absolutely nuts. It's, they are such a cool looking car. Let's jump in. Let's go for a drive. Enjoy the experience of this, Paul. It's a fantastic one. I don't actually know how to change this lap timer, which I've got on the dash, to something else. But it's cool. You can have your lap times. This is how track day focused these cars are. I don't know how to change it. Something along here. I'm going to press the wrong button. Right, we're now driving out of London, and uh, this is just <laughs> the moment we've dri dri driven out of London, it's poured down with rain. <laughs> just so you know, I've also got driven this car in the wet. Have I mean, you not? No. Okay. I've driven Tony's one around the circuit in the wet, but I've not driven my own. 
So it is fairly petrifying at this moment in time. Out of all of the YouTubers, yeah. I would probably prefer to be in the passenger seat of one of your cars in the wet than Tom's. Tom's piece in the <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, it's no fun. Um, I'm in complete comfort and also stress levels are very low. Really? Yeah, because like, I know that you're actually a, a half decent around the track. I knew that was going to be something. A little bit slower than Ollie Webb, but half decent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what Tony would say. Uh, but as we go out trying to find tunnels for your own video, yeah. um, we're going to have a little discussion about okay. what you would do to this car if you're in the mods game because I I'm in a bit of a it's not even a dilemma but something where I am restricted because of what it is right is a car going up in value not necessarily well we hope but it's definitely staying put yeah value. yeah um, of where I go next in terms of if, what I do modification wise okay well we actually had this conversation in your A35 as well didn't we and Basically, you said that you like it how it is. Merck have spent a lot of money in building that car to be the best in comfort mode so you can cruise around, but then once you're in Sport Plus, you can have a little bit of fun and feel the power and the performance and stuff. Yeah. And you're right, the GT3 RS, you are quite restricted in terms of still keeping all of the car's qualities but trying to make it a little bit unique and add your own yeah. personal touches to it. Because there's lots of ultraviolet ones out there. But there are. what are you going to do differently? Well, you know what? I think out of all of your cars that you've owned... Sorry about that. The traffic, I don't know how to turn the traffic and the announcement off. <laughs> <laughs> I generally have tried it for days. I still don't know what I'm doing with it. Um, yeah, your, your number plate has made such a big difference to the look of this car. I know. Compared to all of the other cars, I don't know what it is about just, it's quite a cool plate to have on a GT3 RS. Yeah. That differentiates yours versus a, a lot of others straight away. That is a true point. Yeah. Because if I had the 2016 plate on it, it wouldn't be the same, would it? No, no. So I think as it's not really a modification. It's more of a customizable thing. Customization. Putting a number plate on the car, but on this is actually works wonders. That's actually fun. Well. So you've done the exhaust. Well, you say that. I've only done what well, JCR did the center sort of bypass part. Okay. That is one step of many where you can go. Yeah, I think you um, can change four parts or three parts of the Porsches. I think their race pipe, I think it literally that is the one which is just straight through. Because you know what is actually quite accessible is the headers on these. Yeah. Whereas on the, the V10s, like the Hurricanes, the R8s, you basically have to remove the engine to change the headers. Right. Whereas on this, it's really accessible. So that is actually a genuine option. The problem is that because there's no sound ending in this car, because race car, I know. it would drone like. I want to see. You can bleep that like, to make it look like a swallow. Yeah, yeah, I could have, yeah, I could have actually bleeped that. Uh, but do you know what I'm, I'm thinking? I don't know whether it's going to happen now or is in a month or in two months. It's a little bit more noise. But okay. I don't know how exactly. I will. I'm thinking about making it louder. Yeah. But not to the point where it's anti socially loud. Yeah. I mean, I'm interested to hear more of this engine because it like, revs to an amazing. Like, it is an amazing sound again. Eight, eight nine thousand revs. Yeah. And it already sounds good. Yeah. But you can make it sound. I, I don't want to make it anti social, but I'd like to hear more of it. Yeah, you just want to release it a little bit more. You yeah. Want the sound but I want to. Do, I also want to do it in stages. Good brakes. Uh, just about to go into <laughs> the back of the truck. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you've done. A stage of the exhaust, which was perfect for your Monaco and titanium road tips. trip. Yeah, that was perfect for that trip. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, but you want to kind of go a little bit wilder. Wilder, but, but that can wild. still go on the track as well. So you know, I would like to take it one day on the track. What? The only other thing that I would be tempted to change on this car is putting a set of aftermarket wheels on. I know you've had bad experiences in the past with that. But, hear me out, if you go for the same OEM sizing of what you've currently got on the car, on the stock suspension, it will sit well, we're going left here. Okay. So 
so it will sit well on the, the suspension. You won't need to worry about that. Yeah. And it just adds a personal touch to it because you can get some nice wheels for this car. It's the only thing that I'd change. I don't think it would ruin your ride quality. Yeah, I don't want to ruin the car. I don't think it would. Really? Yeah, because you're not going bigger. Right. And you're not messing around with the suspension either. Wheels are so an option. You should be able to maintain the ride quality and the road noise level and change your aftermarket wheels. And then think. you've got a little bit of a personal touch to it. You would, uh, okay, so wheels is an option. That's something which I could look into. I Colour. think if you were to do wheels, then you'd do tyre writing as well. That's chaos. Yeah. That is actual chaos. Race, I like race car chaos. That actually is. Yeah. Okay, I like where you've gone with that because I didn't. Are you happy I came? Because I could have said you should supercharge it and make it 900 brake horsepower, but I've. You're being tamed today. It's good. I like where you're at. I'm just sort of. You're at that level. I've grown up. You have grown up. In yeah. the last six months, you've changed. From because you have a straight pipe motion argument. Yeah. And that you actually want to be calm in something. Okay, right. So that is your thoughts on that. PPF, that is another thing that needs to be you done. You desperately need to do that because that's actually a... not done. So for Monaco, um, people actually don't actually know this, uh, but the whole aim of Monaco, I couldn't get it done in time because of uh, time scales and stuff like that when I was leaving when it was going on the truck. So the car is still is in perfect condition, but I had to lead the convoys. Right, so that no one was kicking stones Correct. out. Okay. Because people behind me got stone chips that had PPF. Oh. I had to lead the way as well. Yeah. And there's and a lot of uh, rocks and stones on those and it's mint, so it needs to yeah. PPF in the next yeah. couple of weeks if we go and get it PPF. Don't get me wrong, a car without PPF, you can still maintain a pretty good paint job. Like, yeah. my Gallardo never had PPF. And that's why it had a rubbish paint job. <laughs> <laughs> Exhaust, yeah. potentially wheels, and PPF, writing. and leave the number plate potentially as it is. Yeah. I think you can remove the frame, the bracket, to see whether you've got holes in your front bumper. And if you have, then put it back on. But if you haven't, then maybe do a sticker plate. Look for, look for tunnels. Well, I knew you, you, you were, you were. Tunnel up there? Hang on, it's this exhaust expert. Is that an underpass? Hang on, it's this exhaust expert. <laughs> have I got my glasses on? This car will scream like uh, oh, 911 mate. RSR. Mate, but you actually can. I found the end of the right? <laughs> Yes, sir, I finished at the Mon in my first year. No, I don't know, you finished. I didn't! <laughs> We've just quickly pulled up because uh, we're just filming for Paul's video. But we've been driving in the pouring rain and we're still going. Yeah. I say that as I'm a racing driver. Actually, there was a lot of comments on my last video where people were like, why have you not taken uh, your own car around the track in the rain? Um, I just didn't really fancy it just yet, so I used Tony's, but it sounds rubbish. So as Mr. Paul Wallace is getting those angles, the car is uh, pretty dirty already, Paul. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You just want to hear the revs of it. Cars are made to be used. They are made to be used. But we're going to quickly rig some GoPros up and head back on our way because we are causing chaos where we are right now. We do apologise. Please do not hit my car. Ooh. Right, here we go. We have the hazards on because we're currently on the side of the road. Let's hear it on the rev limiter, shall we? Let's have a little look at this. Right, you ready? So it's button on. Sounds good. That's the limiter at 4,000. Sounds insane. Oh yeah! Sounds good! Is that in park? That's in park. You want it in neutral, don't you? Alright. I mean, there's no pleasing you, is there? Same thing. That does sound better, actually. Lovely. Rounds off what has been an awesome day in my Porsche GT3 RS, and the first time I've taken that car, my personal car, in the rain. It was uh, interesting, uh, to say the least. Obviously, I've driven Tony's car around the track in the rain, um, but yeah, taking mine in the rain was fun, and the noise of it. We got a chance to stretch its legs a bit on some of the roads as well, which is really nice. Uh, but yeah, good also to talk all things modifications, because uh, like you guys know, there are always things that you can do. I am slightly limited with a Porsche GT3 RS, solely because of, you know, the car is potentially going up in value, and the paint, which it is, the ultra 
ultraviolet paint has now been discontinued. Uh, Paul should no longer make uh, that paint. I do have to be careful, I don't want to, you know, spoil it. So paint protection is one thing. I will look into the wheels that Paul was talking about. That is one thing I will look into. Um, no promises, but we'll see. I do like the stock wheels. Number plate holder, another thing. Look into that from the front just to see if that is potentially possible. Also, I'd like to keep my car legal as well. Let me know what you want to see mods wise. Just put it in the comment section down below. I have been getting a lot of comments as well on my Instagram with when are you going to track this car? I am gonna be doing it shortly. Just the weather. Um, I just haven't wanted to take my own personal car around in the rain like it is. Uh, but the moment the weather's better, hopefully the English weather will get better in the next couple of weeks, then I will take it on the circuit and actually get a chance to properly stretch the legs of what is my dream car, the GT3 RS. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, comments down below, like, and I'll see you all very soon. I think I did all that. See you all very soon. Ooh.